The Story of the Pied Piper of Hamelin A long time ago, there was a very prosperous city called Hamelin, with lots of corn silos along the river. There was just one problem. Hamelin had a plague of rats. There were rats all over the city, in the bakeries, in the shops, in the streets, and in the people's homes. The mayor was being pressured to solve the problem, and so he said, Good citizens of Hamelin, you may rest assured that what needs to be done is being done. But in truth, he had no clue about what to do. The days passed, and the problem got worse and worse. People started to become angry, and they marched through the streets in protest, shouting, No more rats! No more rats! Something had to be done quickly. The mayor gathered all his counselors and tried to come up with a plan. We must dig a huge hole and bury the rats, one suggested. We should get a fearsome cat to eat the rats, another replied. But clearly, none of the suggestions would work. Demoralized, the mayor concluded, It just can't be done without help. Why don't we give a reward to the person who can solve the problem, he suggested. Everyone agreed. So a reward of a thousand gold coins was offered to anyone who could take the rats out of the city. The following day, a strange man carrying a silver pipe came to Hamlin. He found the mayor and said to him, For a thousand gold coins, I will save your city from this plague. And how do you intend to do that? The mayor asked. I will play my silver pipe, and all the rats will follow me to the mountains, where they will stay forever, the man replied. Everyone laughed at the Pied Piper, but the mayor, in desperation, said, Well, please try. We will give you the reward if you succeed. And so the Pied Piper left the room promising to come back the very next day. In the morning, the Pied Piper reached the city square. He took a deep breath and started to play a tune, and just as he foretold, the rats came flocking to the square. They came from the mountains, the corn silos, and out of every hole in the city. The Pied Piper started a dance as he wound his way out of the town, and all the rats followed him to the mountains. The people of Hamlin celebrated with great joy and gladness, chanting, The rats are gone! The rats are gone! And when he returned, they welcomed the Pied Piper with great joy. I did as I promised. Now please pay me, and I'll be on my way the Pied Piper said. But the mayor laughed. Pay you one thousand gold coins? All you did was dance around and play that silly pipe of yours. We'll give you forty gold coins and you can think yourself lucky, the mayor said. The Pied Piper left the city without saying a word. The next day, very early in the morning, the people of Hamlin awoke to a melody coming from outside and rushed to see what it was. It was the Pied Piper playing a different tune this time. All of a sudden, all the children came running out of their houses and into the street, dancing to the sound of the Pied Piper's music. Their parents shouted, Come back! but they seemed hypnotized as they disappeared with the Pied Piper into the mountains. Everyone in Hamlin despaired. They desperately searched high and low for their children for days, but could not find them. Then the Pied Piper returned to Hamlin. The mayor, shamefaced, saw him and begged, 
please bring our children back to us. We'll pay you all the money we promised you. The Pied Piper accepted, with the condition that from that day forward, the people of Hamlin will always keep their promises. The mayor and the council all agreed. Then the Pied Piper left the council chambers and stepping into the street once more, began to play another tune. And all the children came running back and into the waiting arms of their parents. Hamlin was happy and prosperous once more, and the townspeople have kept their promises ever since. The End